hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today we're going to be trying to address a problem that many of you guys are having. The solution is quite simple, and there's many different sort of innovative ways of getting around this problem. And you may notice my space engineer here is on the ground, and if you've been to any of the planets and you've tried to build your Puppetuni jetpack on, been levitated into the air just slightly and then suddenly it's cut out because you run out of hydrogen. Your jetpack requires a lot of hydrogen to actually work in an atmospheric environment. And that's what leads to problems such as this. So we try to build ourselves a block up. We can build our first level, but we can't get a block onto the second level. So we actually have to design our buildings in such a way where we either start from the bottom, we build ourselves a staircase up, and we just have to keep taking that in mind or else we don't have this problem if we can't get to the next level. But there is an easier solution. So if we go over here, we've come to another problem that you guys have been having, is my ship is now stuck up in the air, and there's, there's no way of getting into that cockpit. I can't jump, I could try building a block up and climbing up onto it, but an easy solution for this is when you're building a ship for a planetary sort of environment, is simply add it to your remote control list. So if I search in here, I find my remote control, I control my block, and I can actually bring this down to level with me now. So if I just cut out my inertia dampeners, you can see I can bring it down to a lower level, and I can actually access my ship now. So now we've got that problem solved, we can take off back into the sky and we can press Control G. Now Control G will actually access the build mode, and I'll hit it again, Control G. And then you can see we can actually build from inside our ship. Now this was released in a few patches ago, but it seems that it's quite important when it actually comes to building on planets. So you can see I can actually build from this area here, and since this ship has welders on, so once it's built it within the survival mode, I can just weld it up instantly and continue building. So I can actually sketch the whole of this structure out without too much of a problem. Now there is some other more complicated and simple methods to building like this. So another more complicated solution for this is building yourself something like this. Now this is a boom lift, you can find this on the workshop, it's been up and around, and it is quite fun indeed, I'll also show you some of the functions. So if we actually turn this, you can tilt the actual boom at the top. We can also retract and extend our piston in the center. You can see there, so we can bring it down to different levels. And by turning that on and off, we can stop it at different heights to work on that area of the structure. And this is also a great way of getting up to them higher points, but it does require a lot more building. But one of the great functions of it is that it is movable as well. So if I just lock my camera in place, you can see I can move my boom lift to a different area and I can actually be sat in the bucket. I'll bring the bucket down to a lower level and then I'll hop into it. But to save our time, I think we'll just go up to the top like so, and we'll drop into the boom. We'll press this and access our remote control block. Remote control, control the boom, back up to spectator, and we can actually move ourselves around. So let's put a six on that. We can actually move our boom to the left. We can see us moving over there, and you can build quite effectively from the top of this place. So we need to actually stop the boom from moving. So I think we'll start that with a six, and then we'll be back to our character. So we could build a few blocks across from up here. We can move and advance our structure on a little bit further up to this level. So just a really interesting way of continuing that problem, that fear of heights, if you want to call it, when it comes to developing these structures on planets with this sort of very tough gravitational field that sucks the hydrogen straight out of our cells. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, but more importantly, I hope this has answered some of your questions regarding building your structures a little bit taller and the problems that you're going to be having if you decide to let a ship drift away. But remember, place your cockpits at a level you can access, add a remote control block, and be careful. Make sure you build a structure that you can access without the use of the jetpack, or else you're going to run into some quite large problems. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.